Hey peeps, today I'm back with a tutorial on these butterfly locks. Now I've done a lock tutorial before, but I wanted to show you my updated method that doesn't involve crocheting the hair in or using rubber bands. And it also only requires half the amount of extension hair than what I used in my previous video. So it's overall less expensive, which is always a good thing. So the hair that I used is this Lulu Tress Water Wave hair in 18 inch. I did get two different colors because I was gonna mix at first, but in the end for this round, I decided to just stick with all black and like I do for all my extensions I soaked the hair in a vinegar bath then rinsed and let it air dry overnight starting out myself with clean stretched hair which I also air dried overnight and then in the morning I just brushed it out I'm gonna begin by splitting my hair in half and make a part going from ear to ear taking some olive oil and applying a few drops to each half all throughout. Now I'm gonna start sectioning my hair. So for these, I'm making medium sized sections like this. Then I'm using jam and applying that onto my roots to flatten and smooth. Then I give it a little twist to hold the hair together. Now I'm gonna take the water wave hair and for these I'm only pulling out one piece for each butterfly lock. You wanna fold the hair in half, then pull on one end so that one side is about twice as long as the other. And I'm gonna start it off like I'm doing a basic box braid and I braid down about an inch and a half to two inches. Once I've done that, I take the shorter side of the water wave hair in one hand and combine it with my real hair. That's gonna be the inside of the butterfly lock. Then I take the longer side and start wrapping it going upwards to get to the top. Once that long piece is all the way at the top, I wrap it around the base of where the braid started and I usually wrap about four or five times and this makes the lock really secure. Then I go ahead and start wrapping the water wave hair going down to fully cover that hair that I'm holding in my other hand. And as you're moving downwards, you wanna periodically fluff out the piece that you're winding. That's gonna help give the little bulges and irregularities that butterfly locks are known for. And it also gives a bit more fullness to the lock. A few inches from the bottom, place your finger on the hair, make a loop, and twist tightly going up. Remove your finger, pull down, and that's it. All right, one more time, really close in. So apply some jam to each section to smooth and flatten the roots. Twist to hold all of the hair together. Take one piece of water wave hair and attach it by braiding down about an inch and a half to two inches. Combine your real hair with the shorter side of the water wave hair, then take the longer piece and wrap it going towards the top. Once at the top, wrap it around the base about four times to secure and tighten. Fluff out that long piece that you're gonna be wrapping and start winding it going down. And if you want even more distressing, you can place your thumb inside while you're wrapping like you see me doing here. Leave a few inches free at the very bottom, then place your finger against the lock, fold the hair up, make a loop, then wind the ends until you can't wind anymore. Remove your finger, pull down, and that's how you finish off the lock.
I always shape my edges to complete my styles and today I'm using this edge control. Really like the hold it has and that it doesn't make my hair feel super hard or crunchy. And yeah, that is basically all there is to it. So these locks are extremely easy to move around, not stiff at all. They are ultra lightweight, you guys. You can literally barely feel that they're in. Plus, since I didn't crochet these in or use rubber bands, they are secure, but they don't cause too much tension on your scalp, and you definitely won't have a headache when you do this. All in all, this style took me about three and a half hours to complete. I ended up with a total of 52 locks, which was three packs of the Water Wave hair. And because I only used one piece of hair per lock, it definitely helped it to not look too bulky. I also love the versatility of these locks. You can do so many styles with them and I'm going to show you guys a few ideas right now. So you can do a half up half down look. You could gather all of the hair up and do a high top knot or just up and loose. We could also do bantu knots in the front. Here I just took two locks each. I wrapped them around each other, made a bantu knot and pinned them in place. And then we could go with double high buns with tendrils or just the basic double buns. So those are just a few styling suggestions. Now maintenance is ultra simple as well. So whenever I start to get product buildup from the edge control, all I do is while I'm in the shower, I gather my hair up and I gently massage my edges to loosen the product, then let it rinse away with plain water. I get out, take a few drops of olive oil and put that around my perimeter, which keeps my edges soft and conditioned. And I let everything air dry overnight. The next day, I lay down my fuzzy edges with some fresh edge control and brush everything back in place, which makes everything look refreshed. And that's basically all I have to do. And as time goes on, the locks get a more lived in look. They appear a bit more natural. So this style still looks good even when you've had them in for a while, which I really love. For those of you wondering how to remove these, that's a piece of cake as well. The first thing I do is pull down on the end of the lock to get the knot towards the very bottom. Sometimes when doing this, the bottom will come undone, which is great, but sometimes it won't, especially if you've had these in for a while. So if it doesn't come undone, just take some scissors and cut off the knot, then gently separate the hair starting from the bottom and working your way up. Now the bottom is usually the toughest part of this process to separate since the water wave hair can get a bit tangled but it's still not hard to do at all and as you get higher and higher it gets easier and easier and it pretty much starts to separate on its own. Unwind the hair at the top then undo the braid and it comes right off. So there you have it guys, easy butterfly locks. I hope you all enjoyed the video and I'll catch you over on my next one. Bye.